hey cancer pisces scorpio welcome back welcome to all my new subscribers thank you all for being here i appreciate that love and support from you um please don't forget to like subscribe comment um share some of your stories if you are you know feel comfortable to do that and turn on that notification bell so you can be notified when i upload new videos videos for you all my language i mean my um communication is like so off and i know it's because retrograde but um um what was i going to say um so just remember that these events can be past present or future and there is no energy there is no gender in tarot there's just energy <laughs> so guys when i was meditating over you guys' energy i felt like happy like there's a celebration coming up for you all i saw like a, a vision of like somebody skipping through the flowers like having a good time and i also heard about sex <laughs> so some of y'all getting ready to have some sex soon like it's getting ready to be a celebration let's see what's going on with y'all <laughs> i always get like really really um cancer pisces scorpio energy always makes me you know i don't know why i connect so much with you guys but let's see um for cancer pisces scorpio spirit um what is cancer pisces scorpio's situation what is going on with them what is going on with them like yeah like i saw a celebration in my head and everything i'm like what what is going on happiness is coming cancer pisces scorpio synchronicity signs one 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 two 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 three 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 so you could be seeing signs about something oh unexplainable pull can't resist yeah an obsession <laughs> a, yeah something freaky is coming up for y'all so let's see what's going on <laughs> let's see what we have spirit guides angels for cancer pisces scorpio sun moon rising venus and north node what is going on for them oh okay we have karmic <laughs> why <laughs> third party relationship lesson but i'm hearing you're done <laughs> you completed this lesson here you completed this so you know maybe these this person is trying to get back in your energy jesus okay what else then we have divine masculine right here so let's see what else for cancer pisces scorpio spirit oh on the table offer proposal commitment yeah y'all are going into something new something that's gonna make y'all happy here oh why is this on i'm still playing my <laughs> i was looking back at my videos y'all <laughs> i don't know why i do that all the time but um let's see what else for cancer pisces scorpio bounty hunter chaser hot pursuit what else for cancer pisces scorpio so yeah, you're going into something new. This is very self-explanatory <laughs> and magnetic. Unexplainable pull can't resist. Yeah. You have a magnetic attraction to someone. Yeah. <laughs> oh, somebody's about to be chasing y'all. Like in a good way, you know. <clears throat> They're coming after y'all. So this looks nice a new relationship commitment on the table it looks like there's a karmic trying to get in the way of course nothing new at the bottom of the deck we have meeting two or more people discussions planning yeah so you guys could be talking about why am i why do i hear still hear myself talking what is going on here oh i'm still on here no wonder okay <laughs> so phone me by shay a crew is on i love him you guys should um He's a good artist. So let's see. I feel like you guys are excited. Are you guys excited about something? Like, I don't even think this karmic, you know, this karmic situation is a thing of the past here. So it's like, they're just here just to be here. Like, maybe for some type of decoration. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But let's see. Spirit guides, angels for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Let's clarify synchronicities. What are the signs? What are they seeing? What is that about? Let's see if we can confirm some intuitive messages they may be having. What are they seeing, spirit? <clears throat> Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. 
bottom of the deck overall energy judgment yes you guys are awakened here libra energy you guys have awakened to something oh maybe you guys have awakened to the fact that you have a strong magnetic pull you know an attraction to somebody and you want to offer this person commitment so now y'all is about to chase them or they're about to chase you <coughs> one or the other here but yeah someone has made a choice you know someone's angels are really guiding them towards someone else oh juicy six of swords and a ten of cups beautiful cancer pisces scorpio your energy and aquarius libra and gemini moving forward going right into emotional fulfillment that's what i felt so okay why is synchronicities here for cancer pisces scorpio why is synchronicities here for cancer pisces scorpio the tower <laughs> Scorpio energy. What else, spirit? For synchronicities. Why is that here? Okay. Four swords, three of wands at the bottom of the deck. And then we have the emperor. <laughs> yeah. You realize that you have a divine masculine here, or you are the divine masculine with the emperor. You I feel I feel like you realize your power here. Whatever happened here, whatever suddenly changed here made you realize something about yourself and about whoever you're connecting to and about this karmic as well. There was a sudden shift in energy, a sudden shift in uh, the 3D. Like, I don't know why I'm hearing like maybe a household has gotten shaken up or uh, shaken up or like something happened within a household or <clears throat> your world just changed suddenly you're realizing why you're getting these signs and synchronicities you're finally seeing like boom okay i got the i got the memo spirit um you stepped into your power here you stepped into your power you grew you changed you conquered i'm hearing you are you know i'm hearing like good money coming towards you a uh, start of a new business here you have really um this is aries energy by the way you could be dealing with the aries but you really stepped into your power you stepped up now we have the four swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You're resting now. You're healing. You're growing. You're maturing. And you're ready to move forward with the three of wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Um, <clears throat> you, you could be thinking about something too. Thinking about things. About what your next move is. What you want to do. You could be connecting with this other person through music here. I'm hearing like somebody really enjoys music. Maybe when they go to sleep or just like all throughout the day. That's for somebody. So, okay, what else, Spirit? Why is uh done here? Why is completion lesson learned? Why is that here? For Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, Energy. Someone rushing in to communicate with you. Why is the um, done here? Completion lesson learned. really spirit okay i'm gonna take these six of wands at the bottom so seven of cups nine of cups three of swords yeah you're done with the confusion the lies the cheating the betrayal here with this three of swords you're done dealing with the heartbreak done being confused about you know what path you should go down you're just done with this person it could be an ex of yours that broke your heart and you're ready to move forward here this person had you confused they had you stuck they had you bound tied to them just for them to break your heart here they could have been greedy they could have been very selfish very inconsiderate but whatever you're wishing for here you're going towards your wish fulfillment with the knight of swords there is somebody coming in here it could be an air sign doesn't have to be but there's somebody coming towards you here because you're their wish fulfillment or vice versa or both you know mutually the same way uh, for some of you but yeah you you left this person and i feel like a lot of you has, has gotten options now like y'all got shit to choose from suitors different suitors like you left this person and you're seeing you have more freedom to pick and choose what you want to do now this person i feel like they had you stuck for a very long time they did now i feel like this other person that you're done with this com this lesson that's completed here they're confused they're stuck they're heartbroken and you're moving forward <laughs> 
It's like there's something that you want to communicate here to someone here, this person that you're offering a commitment to or they're offering you one. You want to communicate something to uh, to them, uh, a truth, some type of clarity here. Yeah. There could be this person that you're done with. This could be them coming back to because they're greedy, they're selfish. They want what they want. This person broke your heart. And you're going to be confused like, what the hell? Why are you even coming back? <laughs> like, that's what I'm feeling. Dead ass. So, okay, let's see. Karmic. Why is Karmic here? Third party relationship lesson. Why is this here? Spirit guides for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Okay. With the guru at the bottom. Yeah, you learned your spiritual lesson here. You're over that shit. So, <clears throat> the nine of, nine of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sag. Yeah, you're looking back at this person like, what the hell? I, I worked so hard to, you know, I worked so hard with you through this relationship here. You really worked a lot for this person here. I feel like you put in a lot of work, a lot of time, a lot of energy into this person. Now you're looking back like, what the fuck? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, ew. I don't even know why I did that. I know that feeling. Also, this could be them looking over here at what you're about to do they're jealous they're envious they see that you've stepped into your power here this karmic could be a, a a fire sign king of wands with the temperance yeah you're you step into your power you're about to make a move to do something a king of wands is somebody who's very bold courageous they make moves they don't do too much talking they really act on what they want to do here um with the temperance yeah you're there's violence being brought back into your life here this third party they can't do anything that's why i'm like everything here is good you're stepping into your power and they're just here like why are you even still here why can't you just move forward and do what you want to do and do what you're going to do somewhere else like why are you even still in the way what is the point anymore you know what i'm saying they could be trying to cause you some type of confusion here but the things the events that are happening in your life are all within divine timing here this balance that's coming into your life this happiness this joy success healing it's it's happening for you here and this third party is just they're mad and that's okay it's a human emotion they'll get over it <laughs> you know so let's see on the table offer proposal commitment why is this here for cancer pisces scorpio seven of pentacles why is this on the table here for cancer pisces scorpio four of pentacles one more for cancer pisces scorpio ace of pentacles boom <laughs> the lovers yeah you're going into a divine connection uh with your divine counterpart here that's where you're headed to um you're ready to invest you're holding on to this because you know that this person is your everything this person is your whole world they make you happy this person could be um you guys you and your person here are going to come into some good money together i'm feeling like together um i feel like maybe like some of you all could know this person you guys already know this person for most of you you invested or this person invested time into you and didn't see anything come out of it you know um this person could be waiting on you to come and offer them something here and it's coming some of you all could be purchasing a new home. Some of you could be getting a new job, a new career path, a new car here, something uh, tangible, something that you can hold in a 3D, something physical. But this is all about new beginnings, new solid foundations. So that's what's coming with this offer here. This offer is, is coming for you all proposal commitment um you are holding on to this person they're holding on to you i feel like the, the energy is mutual here with this lovers and the ace of pentacles yeah there's a new beginning and love coming a new beginning with your material world too i feel yeah why is magnetic um fair trade by drake and travis scott is on yeah <laughs> this song here y'all are um how does it go um something about 
that's a fair trade to me if I outside oh no that's another song oh no that's the same song y'all how does that shit go I'm mad I can't think of, about the words let me see something yeah something about finding peace like you found your peace like that's a fair trade you've traded in all this bullshit to find your peace that's a fair trade to you like you know what i'm saying <laughs> that's a fair trade i don't want to turn it up because i can get a copyright claim on my video i don't want that but yeah so let's see magnetic why is magnetic here for cancer pisces scorpio why is magnetic here for cancer pisces scorpio <laughs> yeah you are taking action towards this person here you are taking action you're you know this new opportunity that you have you've planned it <laughs> the two of wands and the three of wands came out you've planned it and now you're taking action you've planned it and now you're traveling towards it you're moving towards this you are coming to get this person they're coming to get you however it's going here like yeah you you're traveling for love oh that's so sweet with the the world shaped as a heart right here you're traveling towards this person you're going to get them here they're coming to get you you cannot resist this person your connection is very special here so let's see what else for magnetic you're waiting for the opportunity to do that i think you already <laughs> the opportunity is now queen of pentacles yeah you could be dealing with the taurus virgo capricorn <clears throat> someone who's very stable they're a good mother figure they take care of home they um i don't know they're very honorable they um embody peace and solitude here like i feel like y this person is home to you <laughs> you know this person feels like home to you you can talk to this person about anything so they cook good meals for you they can cook they they are good at taking care of home like this person is ideal for you i'm hearing yeah so you're going towards this person you are they could have kids or you could have kids with this person already some of you let's see for bounty hunter why is this here chaser hot pursuit why is this here Why is Bounty Hunter here? Spirit Guides for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Knight of Cups, yeah. You're chasing this person. You're, you're, I guess, you know, I'm picking up on masculine energy. So, you know, you could be ready to take this person out on a date here. You want to tell this person how you feel. You love this person. Why is Bounty Hunter here? So expect communication. Expect an offer because it's coming. This person is coming. Might be a little slow moving, but they are coming. Eight of Swords. Why? Um, what else for Bounty Hunter? Queen of Cups flipped. <clears throat> Five of Wands. Okay, yeah. There, there's a third party energy coming out. This third party here is in the way. They could be the Queen of Cups. They're trying to keep you stuck, trapped from making your move here towards this person, towards your person. And it's like, move, be, get out of my way. <laughs> I didn't want to say the word. But, you know, like, I'm so sick of hearing about these karmics, y'all. I swear, they just pop up everywhere. And it's like, find something to do. You don't have nothing else to do besides, you know, get in the way of other people's success and happiness. Like, find something to do here. This could be the mother of your child or a mother figure of some sort. This person is trying to keep you stuck in your head here. Somebody, there's somebody around you trying to make you feel like, oh, well, this is not a good move here. But you're coming regardless here. You've awakened, you've, oh, how do you say it? Awakened. <laughs> you've awakened to what this is that's going on around you. This, this competition, this toxic shit, this fighting, this fussing, this arguing. You know what this is. So it's like, you're not letting that stop you. You're moving forward here. You know, it's, it's time out for that shit. But anyway, Spirit Guides, Angels, what is the potential outcome for Cancer Pisces Scorpio situation? What is the potential outcome here? <clears throat> what is the potential outcome, Spirit? What is the potential outcome? Ace of Cups and a past life connection. Beautiful. Yeah. Ace of Cups and a Six of Cups. 
a new love, a new beginning and love here. Could even possibly be a pregnancy for some of you. Um, more self-love, more self-care. You've mastered that, I feel like most of you have. And you're going towards this person that you have a strong connection to. Could be a twin flame, could be a high-level soulmate. Either way, you're going towards this person. This is where your happiness is. So whatever they're doing, it's like, it's just not working. So just... So let's see let's get some advice from spirit spirit guys angels what is the advice here for cancer pisces scorpio what is cancer pisces scorpio advice cancer pisces scorpio advice spirit guides okay they're telling me to stop cool cancer pisces scorpio advice <clears throat> bottom of the deck rebuild yep exactly what you're doing rebuilding why did my phone get so dark did it get dark let me say something um yeah i don't know why i don't know why okay so rebuild number 16 so let's see what for um what else for cancer pisces scorpio advice spirit guides cancer pisces scorpio advice yeah this reading was self-explanatory guys you guys are at the end of the lesson here you guys are ready to go get your person <laughs> cancer pisces scorpio advice there what is the advice please and thank you what is the advice yep coming together beautiful <clears throat> some of you guys could be having financial problems with challenging times five of wands or no no the five this is wands energy this violet border so this is five of wands yeah this damn whatever is going on here with this fighting and arguing and shit so let's see <clears throat> two of cups that's what that is two of cups okay so let's see let's see number 16 rebuild that's a major icon so i'm going to read that one please don't forget to like and subscribe you guys i really appreciate that 61 let's see This is the tower. Yeah, there's a tower moment coming. <laughs> or mm, mm, let's see. Keywords are collapse, expose, create, pretend, pretense, re revelation, awareness. The dynamics of a relationship can often be complicated. The longer you've been in a relationship, the more complex it could be. Relationships begin to grow many layers consisting of joy, sorrows, honesty, and duplicity. As these layers build on top of each other, it becomes increasingly difficult to know what the core of the relationship is based on. What was once love may now appear to be merely tolerance or worse. Even in good relationships, you may find yourself growing apart from the other person. In either case, the weight of these layers can cause a relationship to collapse. Now may be a good time to start fresh with one or more of your relationships. Peel off the layers one by one, cut away any pretense and see what may be revealed. Find the core of the relationship and decide if it's still what you want and what you find attractive. If so, then discard the layers and consciously create a new commitment with this person or persons, one based on truth, honesty, and love. Use the awareness gained by, the exercise, by this exercise to steer the relationship on a clear, steady course. The same applies to rebuilding the relationship with yourself. Examine your many layers of joys and sorrows, successes and failures, and think about how they're affecting your ability to love yourself and therefore to find love. Expose the false voices that tell you that you're unworthy and silence them. When you do your true value, when you do, your true value will, will be revealed. Rebuild your life around unconditional love for yourself and invite in unconditional love from others. Your affirmation is, I cut to the core of my relationships and consciously rebuild them. And this is the tower card. So, yeah. Yeah, there's a tower moment coming up. <clears throat> or you're going through this right now. Spirit is just, you know, giving you advice from these good words here in this book. So you are coming together. And I feel like this is going to be the tower moment. You and your person coming together finally. Rebuilding this relationship. So lovely, y'all. That is your message. Uh, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And um, thank you all for being here. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye, water signs. <laughs>